Ninibong and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related. So today we're coming back with part two of the Wei Zhang Sky Sora aka Predator King review. Uh, if you want to go and see what these guys look like in their alt modes and their bot modes then take a look at uh, video one uh, i'll link that here now it should appear somewhere magically on your screen like here or here or here or here or here or something like that so go back and check that one out we're not going to look at those modes here as you can see i've already transformed these guys into their multitude of parts to form predator king so we're going to take a look at how these guys all combine and then we're going to look at the predator king and we're going to put that up against the mbk devastator and a few other things and see how he compares so quick note before we start on the transformation of these guys as i said in, in other videos i'm not going to show the transformation on these ones because it would just take too long to go through uh, all six six all five bots, sorry, all five bots. Um, so just a quick one. Uh, basically, the way we have it is Dive Bomb becomes the arm, as you can see here. Uh, but with Dive Bomb, you remove his wings and they come off separately. So that massive backpack that Dive Bomb had actually becomes the wings um, on the back. And you can take that off separately. Uh, deal Claw actually uh, razor claw sorry becomes the chest piece of the head just comes out there um very easy to transform everything on this is actually really easy to transform if again if i compare this to the mbk devastator the the transformation on the on that guy is quite difficult some of the um some of the pieces and the way that they transform can be a little bit fiddly this is all very very basic very easy to transform every single one of these ones Rampage has become the arm, so you can see his backpack has actually become the joint for the arm. Very, very nice. Uh, then we have Tantrum has become the leg, so the big guns from the back of Tantrum and on, on the back of Headstrong as well have now become the feet. So massive feet for them to stand on, and then you can see the same there and then you've got the, the kind of back piece that fits on there which is great uh, so we're gonna do the um the building of this guy he's huge he's a really 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 big combiner so uh we're gonna remove uh parts of the booth as well as we go through this uh, just so that we can actually see everything that's going on so part one of the transformation is you're gonna pick up this guy and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to make the kind of centerpiece here for this. And we do that by taking what was Dive Bomb's chest piece here. And you've got a tab here and you've got a tab here. Just make sure that this is centered. Fold the wings back. You don't have to remove the wings. You just have to fold them back and then... This piece here at the front connects in with those tabs. So just slide that in. And then once you've slid this in, you can then quite easily pick up the arms. So let's just pick up the left arm here and slot them in. So you've got a little tab there. You can see the slider that just fits onto here. So we stick that on that slider right there right there and then we go over to the other side and then we do the same thing with the slider that's on right there ah yeah and then you can start to see that his his nice beefy torso has started so then we're gonna move the arms up slightly no no we don't need to move the arms up yet we'll attach the wings at the back so you've got tab tab they just go onto the back here and they just make sure the arm is on and they will just tap into these back pieces here nice and securely one thing about this it has got nice big tabs so that everything just tabs in the way that you need it to tab in 
Then at the back, you can just fold these feet down like so. And then all we do is take, is move the arms up a little bit. And then you have a hole here and a hole here and slide the leg in and you just take that one put it into that port and you slide that leg in as well then we have our fully combined Predator King last but not least the only thing to do really is to bring in his large weapon which is very very big uh, and that just attaches onto the side of the arm here via this port and then you have your fully transformed Predator King. So let's take a look, closer look at this guy now that he is in his fully transformed and combined robot mode of Predator King and this guy is awesome. He's really really sturdy and secure um, something I really like in this combiner is all the molded detail um, there's a lot going on this form looks absolutely fantastic this is an amazing looking Predator King have a look at the head sculpt on this guy it's a very very nice head sculpt you've got his massive huge cannons coming off at the side huge ginormous wingspan here which is really really cool uh, you also have the arms here lots of nice more detailed hands with the spikes on here absolutely fantastic you come down to the hips and the body it's quite slim on the body uh, close to the kind of the cartoon version I guess so you get some nice uh, nice cartoon accuracy there and then when we come down to the feet you can see the way that the feet have transformed but these are really nice big feet for him to stand on so when you're posing the guy you're not gonna have a lot of problems with standing him in any pose that you want um, alterations that they guys, these guys have made as I've already said from the Hasbro version and massive wings the um, Hasbro version basically has wings that are about this big i think up to where the black piece is and then they put these extensions on here and also these extensions you can manipulate and turn to however you want which is absolutely fantastic also i believe these cannons are bigger on this version as well and um, as we move through the body around the back another change is that within the hasbro version these feet just kind of hang down on the hasbro version and these ones lock and tab into place. So you, this one actually is a KO cheaper version, but for me, they've actually made improvements on Hasbro's attempt. Also, everybody loves a little bit of flashy lights, and this guy has a nice light within his head, so you can see that the, the light just comes on there, which is a nice little uh, thing to have. It would have been cool if you had a light here as well, I think, but no. All in all, really, really nice looking guy. Articulation on this dude is also really, really good. I'll, I'll bring the MBK Devastator out in a second to compare the articulation on this, but just to show you what articulation you get, you get articulation in the heed. The only thing that I don't like as much is this this gap that's kind of here but hey you know I can I can kind of let that slide I guess you get articulation in the guns so we can pose the guns to however we want you get articulation here in the wings you get articulation here in the wings you get articulation in every single one of these feathers so heavily articulated wings move the wing out arm you can get a full 360 once you remove once you move the arm and you can also get a really good up and down at the arm on a very strong ratchet then at the other end of the arm you also get a movement at the elbow you get a full rotation on this part of the hand as well and then you get a little bit of rocker here um, with the wrist so the feet can come off sometimes so just be careful of that and then you get some of the hand and finger articulation here 
uh, is really really good as well the only thing on this one that it is missing is some hand articulation that goes round if you want to articulate the hand round you actually have to manipulate the entire arm to get the hand to twist so that's a, a slight um, a slight downer on this one I'd say uh, it would have been nice to get fully articulated wrists however the way that these all lock in and everything is very very secure so you know give and take I guess uh, you don't get any ab crunch but you do get a full ab twist you get very 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 strong ratchets on his legs you can listen to that no problem at all with him holding his leg kind of in front of him which is really really good uh, with the weight that that leg is carrying a nice knee bend you get some twist at the ankle and you also get rocker action on the ankle as well so this guy is so so poseable it's unbelievable how poseable this guy is uh, i really really like that and not only that but he can hold his poses uh, you can trust that these ratchets will do their job uh, he has the gun here unfortunately there's no lights or anything but it's just a massive weapon that he has there which is great so all in all um, very poseable uh, very secure ratchets um, you're gonna be able to get a lot of play value and a lot of uh, posability out of this figure really really nice well done to Wei Zhang so time for some comparisons and online I see a lot of people saying uh, what should I get first should I get an MPK Devastator or should I get the Wei Zhang Predator King so let's bring those two guys out together now so you can really start to have a look and see what the differences between these two are first of all the obvious one that you can see is the height difference between the two there's a massive height difference between these two the Predator King is miles 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 bigger and um, I did say in the video uh, in my last video that I prefer the bot and the alt modes in this and that's true um, I really like this Devastator this version of Devastator I think it's a very very nice version of Devastator however with the NBK Devastator uh, if you go back and look on my video you'll see that the, the combined mode here has a lot of loose joints so you can I mean you can see how much this guy is wobbling kind of just when I touch him like this this guy not not so much not to the extent that this guy is his arm and his body his hips you can just see it you know he's I'm just manipulating the arm and everything is just kind of going and he can lose balance this guy I can manipulate his joints as much as I want the only thing that's moving is that joint so from a, a joints perspective this guy is much secure if I put his arm out like so then you can straight away he's he's tipping over his hips he takes quite a bit to be able to manipulate into the, the way that you want him to I mean it could again you know it could just be my version here uh, that's like that but you can see oh, yeah, as beautiful as this guy is and I really like this guy um, if I was going to pick up a combiner today for the combined mode which is how I keep these I would definitely go for the Predator King the, the ratchets the joints everything on this although I still am impressed with the way that this looks if I had to splash out my money today this guy just has better articulation more secure articulation it has uh, it's an easy combiner to put easier combiner to put together and this one although looks beautiful has a lot of challenges also this one has a lot more kind of QC burrs and things like that and the plastic on this one feels a lot better than the plastic on this one granted yes every time you look at these online this guy is still gonna be the cheaper option so um, you know there is a reason why he's cheaper I guess but overall um, I would definitely say go for this one but that's how they look together
for an added comparison, I've brought out Scorpionark. So you can see actually how tall this guy is compared to Scorpionark. Scorpionark is much bigger than this guy, but not by much, not by much at all. So that's quite an interesting thing. They do look quite good together. Um, I wish that they'd have done the, 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 the light of eyes gimmick with this version of Scorpion. I know, Scorpion I know it would have been different, difficult with the uh, with the guy transforming as the head, but that would have been pretty cool, I think, to kind of have him with light up eyes. Um, if I bring out another Earthrise figure that's rather large and also has a nice wingspan, um, we can look here at this version of Skylinks. So if I bring Skylinks out now, you can see how Skylinks kind of sits with those guys. So his old enemy Skylinks, um, he's much taller obviously than his old enemy Skylinks. And then bring out Megatron as well. And you start to see that the uh, he he looks pretty good with them. I know he was from what was it the last line really is from the power of the primes line so yeah they all they all look okay together this is based around the hasbro model so they don't look too bad together at all so final thoughts on this combiner would i recommend that you pick this guy up hell yeah uh i'm not a lover of the alt modes um at, or, or even the bot loads really but I didn't buy this combiner for that I bought this combiner so that he could sit there in his Predaking mode and this Predaking mode is awesome absolutely fantastic uh, I picked this guy up on AliExpress and you can get this guy for under $50 and under £40 um, you know when you think about the Hasbro version of this I see that guy going for £200 $250 upwards of definitely more than $150 it's like triple the price of this guy they have fixed some of the Hasbro challenges on this guy so you know if you, if you are looking for what I would say is an, a nigh perfect G1 version of Predator King definitely pick this up and if I had to choose right now which one I would buy between the NBK and the Predator King I would pick this Predator King Sky Sora Wei Zhang because I display them in the combined mode not in the uh, the alt or the bot modes so guys um if you like what i'm doing around here give us a like a share and a subscribe um i'll be back in another video soon but let me know down in the comments if you pick this guy up is there a better version of Predator King out there than the wei Zhang one what's the kang toys one like because i'm really interested in that that might be the next combine that i start collecting but i do actually want to start collecting um an autobot combiner because i've suddenly realized that actually all my combiners that i'm collecting at the moment are all decepticons so yeah maybe you could leave me a little uh, a little hint down in the comments what are the best autobot combiners to get at the moment uh, i wouldn't mind starting collecting one of those so guys thanks a lot for checking out my video and i'll see you in the next video all right in a bit peace